Hi. It's been about three months since I posted here on the main channel. It's been more than a year since I've posted on the vlog channel and my life looks so different now. So today I thought I'd fill you guys in on what's been going on in my life recently and also talk about all of the shows and concerts that I've seen in the past year. Also, hi, my name is Kat. I really like musicals. Thanks to Hungry Root for sponsoring today's video. Hi, Scooter. How are you? You wanna join me? I'm loving this. I've been posting a little bit on Instagram, so if you follow me over there, you might know a little bit of what's been going on. I moved a few times. I love hanging out with my boyfriend and the cats. Do they have people teeth? And I saw some incredible shows and concerts. Most recently, I saw the national tour of Mean Girls. Loved seeing it again. It was hysterical. They've done quite a few updates since Broadway, and I really like them. I always thought it was kind of weird that at the very top of the show, they have Katie kill a lion and a couple of other edgy bits like that. I saw Lindsay Pierce as Janice. She was utterly unreal. Moulin Rouge, I loved Moulin Rouge. I'm usually not a big jukebox musical person. I find it kind of cheesy, but Moulin Rouge works so well. It's gorgeous. It's a giant spectacle. I feel like Moulin Rouge is the new Mamma Mia. Does that make sense? Like it's the same kind of like Chardonnay girls night out vibe. And I got to see Courtney Reed as Satine. If you guys remember way back in quarantine, we did an interview and we were talking about dream roles and she was talking about how badly she wanted to do Moulin Rouge and she killed it as Satine. And it was so nice in such a full circle moment. I saw this incredible straight play called Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the universe. It's a one woman show that was originated by Lily Tomlin. I got to see it with Cicely Strong. It was just so exciting to see her in this medium because you can tell that she really is a theater kid. She has such a natural, incredible, Incredible presence. I can't wait for the next season of Schmigadoon. I saw Hades Town, which was gorgeous. That was the last musical I saw on Broadway before the pandemic. So it's the last musical I saw on Broadway. Oh my God. I finally saw Dear Evan Hansen and it is so much better than the movie. Tonally, it feels like two separate entities. The show has a much more next to normal kind of feel. It's very grounded in reality. But for the movie, they went full Decom, like Disney Channel original movie. But yeah, I really liked Dear Evan Hansen a lot. I saw Jersey Boys for the first and last time ever. I kid, I kid. Here's the thing, the performance that we saw, I think maybe they were just having a really rough time. Frankie Valli went full Tickle Me Elmo and I think I blacked out beyond there. Oh, I also saw a production of The Music Man where our friend Darian played Marion the Librarian, which is my favorite sentence of all time. Concerts, oh my gosh, I went to so many concerts this past year. Tim goes to concerts the way that I go to musicals. I had never really been to any concerts because I didn't really listen to anything other than show tunes growing up. So I got kind of late to the party and I got to see so many of my favorite artists this year. <laughs> We saw Bleachers, which is Jack Antonoff. We saw Sammy Ray and the Friends, who I've loved forever, and that was a great surprise. Tim surprised me with that. We saw Muna, who I love. And then Phoebe Bridgers showed up. Our really good friend Jake. I've always wanted to end up on a foot fetish website. Played the Troubadour this year, which is like a really historic LA venue. <laughs> We also saw churches, which I love them now. We saw Purity Ring. We saw Danny Elfman, like Oingo Boingo, at the Hollywood Bowl on Halloween, which was wild. I know that there's even more, but the shows and concerts that I've seen this year have been so incredible. And it's given me such a, a newfound love and appreciation for concert performances. Something else I really appreciate is hearing from today's sponsor. Hi, do you eat food? Do you like to eat healthy, tasty, tasty meals? Have you ever used a microwave? Well, if the answer is yes, then you should check out today's sponsor, Hungry Root. Joking aside, I am wildly impressed with Hungry Root. It's a grocery service delivered right to your door that's perfectly catered to your lifestyle and taste. You start by taking a short quiz sharing how you like to eat, 
what you like to eat, any dietary needs or preferences. They also consider if you have specific goals, like trying new recipes, eating more plants. Hungry Root then puts together a personalized, pre-filled grocery cart with healthy ingredients, along with delicious 10-minute recipes to coincide. It takes the stress and planning out of meal prep, and it makes it really easy to discover and cook really cool meals. They've got over 2,000 recipes to choose from, including a wide variety of options for all different diets. My favorite part as a self-admitted picky eater is that you can edit your weekly deliveries and choose exactly which recipes you want to cook for that week. You can also add grocery items a la carte, which is incredibly helpful when it comes to additional meal prepping, snacking, or if you're like me and you keep forgetting to grab limes. And Hungry Roots got a great deal. The first 100 people to use my code CATSTEEL40 will get 40% off of their first grocery order with Hungry Root. Use the link in the description box below or go to HungryRoot.com and use code CATSTEEL40 to get 40% off. Thanks again to Hungry Root for sponsoring this segment. And now, back to the video. Let's get personal. Let's do some fun little life update-y things. I lived on my own. Uh, like, I lived alone in my own apartment. Before that, I moved three times in three months. We're at the hardware store getting stuff for the move and look who we ran into. This is Cinnamon. She's employee of the month. Okay, she's on the clock. We better let her work. Back to work, Cinnamon. Cinnamon actual actually staff. owns the store. She's actually an undercover boss. Yeah, that's why it's called Do It Yourself, so she can't do anything. Originally, I was renting a room in a house and that did not work out. So then I moved out of that place, moved all of my stuff back to my parents' place, and then I moved it to my new place. It's a cute little one bedroom. It's nothing crazy, but it's perfect for me. Years ago, I had an older colleague who had told me if I have the means to do so that one of the best things she ever did was living alone for a year. And I am so glad that I got the chance to. I learned that I'm so much more capable than I thought. It's something that I never thought I'd be able to do. Being alone, especially sleeping alone in a space is not my fave. And I did it anyway. So shout out to my therapist, Lisa. Miss you, girl. She's not dead, I just don't go anymore, and she has since retired. I really wish that I could have shown more of my apartment to you guys, which actually that connects to the final update, but we'll come back to that. A lot of you guys have been asking about Tim. Tim's my boyfriend. I love him, I love our life, I love the cats. We have two cats, Scout who's a black cat and Louie is an orange cat. Hey. Louie, Scooter. Yeah, guilty, I know. Thoughts after your boxing match? You wanna take on Logan Paul next? <laughs> They're Tim's cats, but I have very quickly become a crazy cat mom. And Tim is great, Tim is so funny and sweet, and I am looking forward to you guys meeting him. We're actually about to watch Last of Us, which we have been loving, still very big gamers. We've been gaming a lot. Oh my gosh, that's what I didn't talk about, oh, Jeez, okay, that's gotta be like a whole separate video. But yeah, we're gonna watch Last of Us. I think we're gonna go grab dinner because that's what we always do. We grab takeout and then watch whatever show we're watching. During House of the Dragon, Tim got a live bee in his salad. I kid you not, we got home from the restaurant and we opened up the container and we're like, oh, there's a live bee in there. Here we are getting Slurpees for Stranger Things. We went to New England this past summer and it was Gorgeous. I'm not super outdoorsy, understatement of the century, but it's some of the most fun I've ever had. We spent our days on the beach, on a boat, eating tons of ice cream. I also saw a summer stock production. I finally saw a real summer stock show. The show was a period piece about female astronomers. Tim's parents got us all tickets for our first night in town, and the theater itself was like, in the forest, it's gorgeous. And the latest update, if you can't tell by uh, looking around, I moved one more time. Can't believe it, we're almost done. This is going so well. Bye bye first apartment. We've been packing up your apartment. We already moved mine. So one in the bag, one to go. Well, kind of like two, maybe, maybe three. Shh. And Tim and I moved in together. We've been here for a couple of weeks and I've been having so much fun setting this place up with him and I'm just ridiculously happy. And I'm so glad to finally be settled in one space. Now that I have a home base, I feel like I can finally hang out with you guys again. And oh my God, God, have I missed that. So that's what's been going on with me. Please let me know what you've been up to in the comments below. Catch me up to speed on your life. And thank you guys for all of the sweet comments that I've seen on Insta or on here asking where I am or wishing me well. I love you guys so much and I'm so stoked to be back. I hope you're having a great day. 
I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.